President Obama this week pushed for expanding natural gas production as a way to fuel economic growth. Right now, the gas industry generates more than 600,000 jobs. That could grow to 870,000 by 2015. Pennsylvania is already at the center of a natural gas boom. But as Tony Guida reports, the drilling in one town may be damaging the water. In tiny Dimmick, Pennsylvania, there is trouble just below the surface. Methane in some of the water wells, enough for ignition at the tap, made famous by a scene from the documentary Gasland. Dimmick, population 1400, has become ground zero in a national battle over hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, a controversial technique for extracting natural gas. I spent Christmas Day looking for water, New Year's Day looking for water, this past Sunday looking for water. The water has Craig Sautner and other residents of Dimmick have lived with contaminated wells for more than three years. In fact, tests analyzed by the federal EPA found Sautner's water contains toxic levels of arsenic, barium, manganese, and glycol compounds known to be common in drilling fluids. The cause, fracking by the Cabot Oil and Gas Company. This according to John Hanger, former head of the state's Department of Environmental Protection. There are 18 water wells that have been impacted by poor, poor gas drilling in Demick. Fracking involves millions of gallons of sand, water, and potentially toxic chemicals blasted deep into the earth, shattering underground shale and freeing natural gas for collection. It's at the surface where spills and blowouts cause chemically infused water to seep into the water table. In 2008, after testing the wells of concerned residents, Hangar's agency wrote to Craig Sautner and other homeowners blaming the contaminated water on drilling activities conducted by Cabot Oil and Gas. The water came out looking like coffee with milk in it. The state agency ordered Cabot to stop drilling new wells and to deliver fresh water to affected residents. But now, three years later, Pennsylvania's environmental agency has changed its mind. A new administration tells CBS News there is no evidence in Pennsylvania of fracking ever having contaminated drinking water and said Cabot no longer has to deliver water. All of a sudden this year they're saying there's nothing wrong with the, with the water. How would he even know? The guy has never been to Dimmick and nor does he ever plan on coming to Dimmick. Enter the federal government. Eight days ago, the EPA made its first freshwater delivery to Dimmick after its analysis raised flags. Our ultimate goal is for everybody to have clean water, that's all. Now the EPA will do its own investigation of the water. Tony Guida, CBS News, New York.